Moving on to a, a very different context, actually, for our second speaker. Audenza is an online boutique for quirky homewares. Established in 2012, they've picked up a number of awards, including Business Owner of the Year last night. Congratulations again. And they've been featured by the likes of Grazia and El Decoration. Our speaker today finished the Warstite Marketing Master Plan program 18 months ago. Please welcome the co-founder of Audenza, Holly Brooks. Um, so yes, we are Audenza, online homewares retailer, purely online, we don't have any bricks and mortar, just online. Um, you may notice there's a slight resemblance between the three of us, we are a family run business. Um, so I founded the company in 2012 with my sister Amelia and my mum Jackie. Um, yeah, so it's still family run, we, we do have an assistant now as well, but uh, still very much a small, small business. Um, and I think it's probably important um, to say at this point that before starting Audenza, we hadn't come from a high-flying career or a business or marketing background. Um, in fact, I personally spent most of my 20s travelling um, <laughs> and picking up odd jobs, random jobs along the way, just so I could afford to stay away a little bit longer. We actually completely rebranded last year. Um, we So we redesigned and rebuilt our entire website and we also changed our company name. So um, our previous name was Mia Fleur, which some of you may recognise, um, which was fine for when we started, but the company grew and so did we. Um, we needed a name that represented, well, we needed a name for a lifetime, really. Um, so Audenza is derived from Latin, and it means to be bold, daring, or courageous, which is exactly how we feel we should approach decorating your home. It was the single biggest decision since 2012, and, um, well, it was a huge decision actually, it's not one we took lightly. Um, we knew it would probably take a temporary step back in terms of growth, um, but we felt that it was the right decision for us. And fortunately, it is already starting to pay off. Um, however, without the foundations and the confidence that Watertight Marketing has given us, um, we wouldn't have been able to take that lead. So, um, in year one, following master plan, we doubled both turnover and profit, and um, tripled profit in the following year, um, which is pretty phenomenal given the marketing budget that we have to play with. Um, yes, we've seen fantastic results, but we are still a small company. In fact, we're a micro business, um, and it's been very much an organic growth. Um, we've had no outside investment since, since um, you know, we put our own personal money in when, when we first launched. Um, pretty much all of our marketing thus far has been done in-house by ourselves with very little budget. Um, so what I'm trying to get across is that you, know, you don't have to have a large team of staff to see results. If you're thinking about doing master plan, um, you don't need a big team of staff to see results. But if you haven't got a big team of staff, you need to work hard. <laughs> um, as is usually the case with most things. Um, for us, um, I, I mean, I can't talk about our, our success without first telling you that watertight marketing has been absolutely instrumental in that for us. Um, the, the touch point leak assessment is the foundation of everything for us. It underpins our entire marketing strategy. Um, it was a revelation when we when we came across watertight marketing. It really was. Um, reading the book changed the way that we think of marketing forever. But the support, the guidance, the plentiful ideas, the, the deeper understanding that we gained through doing the course, um, that was when it all really, really started to click. Um, the the bottom-up approach is also, that again, completely changed everything for us. I know everybody you know, has been talking today about TAPS and Brian needs to talk a lot about it and how that's what everybody thinks of as marketing. Well, yeah, that's what we thought of as marketing. I thought, you know, just try and get people in at the top end. Um, and that's why we've been able to have such great results with our profit, is because um, actually we worked out where we were um, wasting money on our marketing. Um, yeah, and I guess it's, it's looking at that, you know, it's looking at the buckets first. So, um, on that note, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. I came across that quote actually just this week from my <coughs> and I thought it just resonated perfectly with this methodology. Um, we used to think good customer service was being polite, friendly, getting back to people promptly, 
Um, but actually, we've since learned every single touch point in the customer journey contributes to customer service. Um, such is the emotional connection we've now been able to build with our customers. A recent um, lady commented in a review and said she's going to name her new house Ordenza. <laughs> um, not much more of a compliment than that. <laughs> Um, but of course, you're probably all sitting there thinking, okay, that's marvellous, great for you, but how do we create that emotional connection? Um, well, actually for us, we did it, instead of like one big thing or two big things, it's lots of little things. We changed loads and loads of things. Um, when we first launched, we kind of hid in the background a little bit. Um, we thought that being a small business was perhaps a negative point and not something to be shouted about, um, that people might not trust us. Um, but actually working with Brian in, in Watertight Marketing made us realise that people need to know us, they need to build that connection. Um, so it's, it's been about a series of branding us personally, um, which is what Joe was talking about as well. So we've always had styling tips and lots of product information on the product pages, but um, it was Brian's idea actually to put a photo of one of the founders next to those photos. So again, it's just, it's just a small thing but loads of those little things, and you start to create some real emotional connection with your customers. So this is, um, we created a copper, ultimate copper styling guide um, for funnels, because I know funnels is quite a tricky thing to do, and creating um, kind of gateway products in a product-based retailer, it, it was a bit of a you know, tricky thing to do, and we've come up with quite a few ideas, one of which was um, to develop PDF downloadable styling guides. So we get a lot of traffic from Pinterest. Um, we don't actually have that many followers. We have about, I don't know, three or 4,000 followers, but we have over a million monthly views on our Pinterest account. Um, so the traffic coming from that is phenomenal. We had a particular, my wonderfully marvelous creative sister designed a um, copper color palette, which has been shared thousands and thousands of times across Pinterest and linked back to one of our blog posts. Well, People aren't, aren't ready to buy then. They've come and they've seen your blog post. They're not ready to then say, oh, great, okay, I've read that one blog post now I want to buy. What they might want to do is then get a little bit more information. It's that time for, time for days of things. So we developed download, downloadable guides. And when we had this um, at the time, it's not something we're going at the moment, but at the time, it increased newsletter signups by over 40%. One of the other areas that we we, was, we felt like we did pretty well with this is we've invested some serious time in our lifestyle photography. So um, my sister, again, very creative, talented person, um, self-taught photographer, self-taught graphic designer, you know, all of that malarkey. Um, and <coughs> we've been able to use that lifestyle photography. Um, again, it's part of the it's it's part of a trial, so people can see our products in a lifestyle setting and they can see how it works, they can imagine it in their home. Um, and that's been really, really useful for us. It also creates share-worthy content. So people love that content, they share it across social media, it gets shared across print. Um, you know, magazine prints, uh, magazines, you know, they're declining in circulation. They haven't got time and money to do all the shoots that they used to. They want to take and fill a full A4 page with somebody's image that looks really pretty great, we can provide that for them. And all they do is, is tell everybody to come to our website. So what Wars Type Marketing has really allowed us to do here is, um, I was going to say capture the traffic that we have, but um, <laughs> I shouldn't be using that word. <laughs> so, um, but to, to utilize the traffic and to give them those stepping stones and paths to purchase. So another thing for TAPS, um, We've come up with some novel content ideas, um, such as our seven reasons not to buy from a small company. Um, this is a blog post that we created, and as you would expect, it's a um, tongue-in-cheek um, sort of play on controversy, um, and it's been really, really effective. It's been one of our most shared blog posts ever. Um, obviously, you have to be a little bit careful with creating controversial content, so it's not to be on the wrong side of controversy, but as we found, playing it right can be really, really effective. So I just want to conclude by saying um, that Masterplan has for us been a really great source of support. Uh, Bryony mentioned in one of her Facebook uh, live videos recently about the importance of having a mentor in business. Um, and 
Bryony and Charol and some of the other consultants have really been like unofficial mentors for us in many ways. You know, as a small business owner, it can be really easy to be hard on yourself and to focus on all of the things you haven't achieved rather than all the things that you have. So having somebody there to cheer you on, to say well done, um, that is so, so important. Thank you very much and um, I'll be in the Q&A later. <laughs>